Right now everyone is focused on the big upcoming Godot 4.0 release, but Godot 3.2 is still being updated and we just got some new info on some pretty big changes coming to the next version of Godot 3.2.4. The first change is that GD native support is finally coming to HTML5 in Godot. That means you'll be able to take advantage of C++'s superior performance when making web-based games and apps. This is going to be especially useful if you're interested in making high-performance browser-based games like shooters and other type of competitive games where getting as much performance as possible is a big concern. We're also finally going to be able to use MP3 audio in our games. Before we only had the option of using WAV or AUG files, but now that all the patents for it have expired, the Godot dev team are finally able to add MP3 support to Godot. This this is great because now you don't have to waste time converting your mp3s to a compatible format before using them in the engine. The next change is an update to Godot's FBX importer. FBX is the industry standard for 3D models in the gaming industry, and Godot has had FBX support for almost a year now, but recently the Godot team has been able to remove over 70,000 lines of code from the importer, making it much more streamlined and efficient. The reason this update has taken so long is because the Godot team had decided to build the importer from scratch instead of using the officially sanctioned method of adding it in, since there's licensing issues and it would have added unnecessary bloat and a loss of control over how the engine operates. A few other changes include increasing the amount of lights per object in the 3D engine, which means you can add a whole bunch of extra lights and do some crazy things. We'll be getting the option to snap objects to whole coordinates in the 2D engine, which is going to help a lot with jitter in 2D. If you're developing games for Android, you'll soon be able to export games in the AAB file format, which is much more lightweight and seems to be Google's preferred format, and we'll be getting improvements to Godot's web editor. Godot will also get Mac OS ARM64 support so that you can make games for Mac devices that use the new Apple M1 chip, and we're also going to be getting a bunch of performance optimizations. 2D batching for GLES3, which will improve the performance of 2D games in GLES3, and new software skinning for Mesh Instance if your device can't handle GPU skinning. Not entirely sure what that means, but it's good to have more options. Anyways, that wraps up the changes coming to Godot 3.2.4. Make sure to like, subscribe, and bell, links to my Discord and Twitter down below, and as always, have a nice day.